All right, so she's getting ready to open her gifts now. We're finna go up front. Let's go, let's go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a VC? <laughs> Bro, oh my God, man. Oh. Yeah, that was me a couple months ago. And I never would have thought Building a simple PC would take me so long. Holy crap. But you know, like life, sometimes things just don't go the way you want to. Why? I don't know. Why are you asking me? But it's not about what happens in that moment. It's how you respond. Yeah. Guys, I have some bad news. I am a promise breaker. Long, long ago in a far, far away galaxy, I made a promise to somebody very, very close to me. I promised this person to build them their very Aww. own gaming PC. That was over three years ago. Holy crap. But it's not my fault, you know. At the time, I was in college. I had no money to build the PC. You know, I was broke. And also, I was busy with school. You know, school, work, and everything, and I just didn't have the time to build it. And at the time as well, I wasn't really the best at building PCs, but that changes today. This Christmas, I'm going to surprise my little sister with her very own gaming PC. Not just any PC though, a custom Satoru Gojo gaming Yo, PC from Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, if you're like me, you love anime, and my sister loves anime too, and Satoru Gojo is one of her favorite characters. And I gotta admit, the show is pretty gas right now. Okay, so this is present day Marco talking and f that show, man. Oh, that show makes me so mad. I swear to God, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but if you've been watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. Okay, back to the video. So we're gonna do that right now. Well, not right now. I gotta find the parts, customize the design, build it, package it, you know, the whole nine yards of PC building. Let me see, uh, where am I gonna find the parts? We're gonna try to do something on Facebook Marketplace, see what we can find. If if not, then we'll just go through Amazon. So, see you guys soon. All right, we're here. About to look for some parts real quick for the best bang for my buck right now. I don't want to break the budget. Looking around this $500 right now. So let's see what we can find on here. So, after looking for about a couple of hours for some parts on Facebook Marketplace, I found some pretty good deals. I got a 2060 RTX for around $80. I got a Leon Lee 2 case for only $50. And got this amazing motherboard for only $60. This motherboard, bro. What? Why? Well, here, you saw the reaction earlier. Especially mad because I have to drive around 40 minutes to go pick up this damn motherboard. And 40 minutes back. So, after pondering why my motherboard, why my life was so horrible in that moment, I researched for around 10 hours trying to figure out why it's not working. So of course, after crying for a little bit and pondering depression, I reached out to one of my buddies at a PC repair shop and after he researched for the whole day as well, he figured out that the PCI slot for the motherboard was broken. Yeah, the guy I met on Facebook Marketplace, the guy about the same age as me, scammed me bro, scammed me. So now I was out $60 and had no idea what to do next. So I stopped building the PC for around two months. That's how bad it was. I just gave up making it. But until recently, probably like last month, around Thanksgiving, I forgot that last year, I had got very ambitious about building this PC for my sister. And I had bought her a brand new motherboard and a CPU from Amazon. How the hell did I forget that? So. I texted her, called her, and told her, hey, for Thanksgiving, when we come home to our parents' house, can you bring the parts? So she did, and I told her it was for another build that I'm working on because I had to keep things secret if you know her, you know, I wanted to surprise her. So I brought the parts back here, and holy crap, nothing could have gone any better. That's why, you know, things happen for a reason. Maybe it was because life already knew I had bought the parts for her, and it was just like, you dumbass, why are you not using the parts that you have bought her earlier instead of using these parts off of Facebook Marketplace? But yeah, so that's how the part searching went. As you can see, I was very happy. Now let's get into customizing our very own Leon Lee 2 case. So to customize this, I went and got some spray paint from Walmart after looking up a color palette for Satoru Gojo. The colors I chose were light blue, purple, light purple, and dark purple. The kind of light blue for his eyes, and kind of like a dark purplish vibe he has with his clothes. 
Plus her favorite color is purple, so why not? Went ahead and spray painted the case. I gave it a couple layers, just to make sure it sticks and doesn't scratch easily. And after causing my apartment a little bit of property damage, we were finally done with the coloring of the build. And I gotta say, it looks pretty sick. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So, after that's done, let's build this thing. All right, now that we finally have all of our parts, thank God. For CPU, we got an Intel i5 core. 11400 for the gpu we got a gtx 2060 for the motherboard we got a prime z5 90p for our memory we have a 1.5 terabyte seagate hard drive and we have a 256 gigabyte solid state drive as well we have one stick of ram for 16 gigabytes and for our power supply we have a single step 750 watt power supply got some up here fans as well it comes with a docking station to change the colors and yeah we have all our tools let's build it you know speaking of juice Speaking of Jujutsu Kaisen, let me tell you about a wild trip I had with my college buddies about a month ago. So all of my buddies and me are all hardcore JJK fans, right? And we're in Vegas, and the latest JJK episode dropped at that time. I believe it was the one where Itadori was fighting with the blood curse user in the bathroom and stuff. And that episode was pretty hype. So after the episode we're done watching, I was scrolling on my phone through TikTok, and I was looking at these hilarious trends about going band for band with somebody. I know it's ridiculous, but it's pretty entertaining. And then, bam! I see this video titled, Band for Band Domain Expansion, bro. I mean, how could I not share this with my friends? We're all JJK fans, and the video just makes sense. And it instantly becomes a joke for the rest of the trip. So, now picture this. We're in Vegas. The mecca of gambling. And my friends are itching to hit the table. All day, we've been filling up on drinks, and let's just say we're a little tipsy, you know? And it's four o'clock in the morning. We've been up for almost 22 hours. Why? Because casinos are freaking evil, and they keep you up all day with the oxygen and the no windows and no time thing. It's freaking ridiculous. So, enters my friend. We're gonna call him Bill. So Bill loves to gamble. Before we even went on the trip, Bill told me that he was gonna spend a thousand dollars gambling. Me, I thought that was crazy, but hey, Bill, Bill said he got it, he feeling lucky. So Bill hits the poker tables, and at first, Bill's doing amazing. I think Bill won like $400 from people, and I was like, whoa, okay, this is doing pretty good. You know, hey, Bill, you should leave now. So Bill looks at me and says, oh yeah, man, I got you. I'm gonna leave after this next hand. So okay, I'm like, okay, cool, I get up, and go get some food because I'm hungry as a I come back and I see eight glasses of adiosis next to this guy's hand and his head is just in his hand like this. And I see his pile go from this big to this big. So I walk up to Bill and I ask, hey Bill, are you okay? I kid you not. This man turns around, looks at me, stands up, throws his hands together like this like he's about to do a domain expansion and says, BAN FOR BAN DOMAIN EXPANSION! <laughs> Bro is in another world right now, bro. I don't know how many drinks or what was he drinking, but it got him on 10. But after that, the casino went dark, everybody went silent, and somehow he won the next hand. Nah, I'm just playing. He lost all his money and went to go play roulette and lost the money there too as well. So, you know, hey, not everything have a happy ending, but more of the story, when you're trying to go band for band with the casino, the house always wins. Especially if you're trying to channel your inner jujitsu sorcerer after about six drinks. Okay, finally finished. Now, let's see how it turned out. Ooh, you see that? Look at that, look at the lights right there. Oh my God. You see Gojo standing tall, got the two Gojo statues, bro. Got the fans poking out, cable management, holy crap. Yo, look at the colors, man. It is glimmering off that mug, bro. Ooh, you can't tell me it's not clean, man. I'm not even gonna lie, you can't tell me. You can't tell me it's not clean. All right, so. Now that the build is done, we still have to ship and package it. I was thinking about putting it into my suitcase and bringing it on the plane with me, but I don't think it's gonna fit, and I don't know what the crap the people are gonna do. They're probably just gonna throw it on the plane like this and throw it out of the world and it breaks. So I'm gonna make sure I go to FedEx or UPS or something and have them package it for me. I'm gonna get the professional packaging and ship it back to Atlanta. So yeah, we're gonna do that right now. All right, so here's a PC right here. Let's do it. All right, so I took out the GPU, the RAM, and a couple of screws holding the GPU in, and I put it in this PC carrying case that I have for carrying PCs across the country when I'm traveling. And 
for the most part, everything went pretty smooth. I walked outside and it was crazy because it was just snowing two days ago, but now it's 61 degrees. Only in Colorado, right? But yeah, I put the PC in my car, drove like two minutes down the street to FedEx, walked in and they said I couldn't record, unfortunately. So doing amazing, doing amazing. You might have to record. No, no, YouTube video. Yeah, unfortunately. Paid for everything, got everything set up, walked out with my receipt in hand, and we were good to go. So now we just gotta wait until Christmas to reveal the product to my sister. See you guys then. So this is me going to the airport, and I swear to God, I probably had one of the worst flights I ever had in my life. So first, I was lucky enough to leave my brand new headphones at home. So I had to buy these janky ass knockoff AirPods from one of the random stores in the airport. Okay, cool, you know, at least they played some music, right? But little did I know that these AirPods, quote unquote, only lasted like 10 minutes before they died and they were not charged at all. So I had to ride the whole flight just without music or anything. But that doesn't sound too bad, right? Just a regular flight. Well, let me tell you, I sat in front of one of the loudest things to ever exist on an airplane, a crying baby. And this baby cried for four hours straight. I kid you not. And not just a regular wah, wah type of crying. I'm talking about ah! Ah, type of crying. I'm like, oh my god! Like, do people not hear this? And then the dad's gonna be like, shh, Connor, just calm down, Connor. Shh, it's okay, Connor. And the kid is not trying to hear none of that. The kid's just going, ah, ah. So I was pulling my hair out at this time because I'm really struggling to just hold it all together at this point. I look around and people are just chilling because you know they have their earphones, but I don't have mine, and I just had to tough it out and just pray the kid would just be quiet for just 15 minutes so I can fall asleep. But eventually, we made it to my hometown and finally got in. The PC came in nice and sound, I unpacked it, and got it wrapped up for my sister. Now, I'm gonna wait till Christmas Day. See you guys soon. Yo, it's currently Christmas Day, and it's time. She doesn't know yet, so I'm gonna keep it quiet and see her reaction when she opens the present. But I can't wait, I'm very excited. I hope she loves it. And we're gonna see. See you guys soon. All right, so she's getting ready to open her gifts now. We're finna go up front. Let's go, let's go. Uh. <laughs> Is this a VC? <laughs> Yo. What is it? It is purple. No, 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 I got you no. wait a second. <laughs> Wow, I gotta say, even though it took me almost three years to make this, this moment right here made me feel so good. Being able to provide my sister was something she wanted for so long. You know, of course, I love my family, my friends, and especially my sister. She's been there since my day one, so. Gotta say, thank you guys for watching, and just let me know if I should do more videos like this, you know? Custom bills, or even giving PCs away for free. Who knows? That might be where I go in my life. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down what PC build I should do next or what theme I should do next. And what did you get for Christmas? Thank you guys so much. See you guys soon. Martian Tech.